Uh, my name is Anne Cherudi, and I'm affiliated with Emory University School of Medicine and the Yerkes National Primate Research Center. Thank you. Um, could you briefly describe in layman's terms uh, the current focus of your research? Sure. Um, we're really interested in using non-human primate models to um, evaluate reservoirs for HIV and SIV persistence as well as to utilize those models to um, try to intervene and, and reduce the levels of virus persistence in order to eventually affect a cure. Um, so delving down a little bit deeper into that, what we're really focusing on are specific subsets of memory T cells that are long-lived cell subsets that um, are known to contain the virus and live for a long period of time so they allow HIV and SIV to persist in the host. Um, and what we would like to do is to use a strategy to um, push the virus out of those long-lived subsets and into shorter-lived cells that then would be more readily targeted by additional cure interventions. Um, so we're using a inhibitor of uh, beta-catenin, which is an intracellular pathway that allows those long-lived cells to um, renew themselves and maintain uh, a long life for the, for the life of an individual. Um, and if we can push those cells to differentiate, sort of to turn into shorter-lived cells that then are more able to die quickly and to be targeted by cure interventions, it will allow the virus to move out of those cell subsets and be more easily targeted. All right. <laughs> um, what has been the most exciting HIV cure research finding in the last year or so from your perspective? Well, I think that there are um, a lot of small steps towards a cure. You know, it's clear we're not there yet, and there hasn't really, to my mind, been a, 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 map, um, a magical aha moment. Um, one of the things I was very excited to hear about at this conference is the um, formal acceptance by a number of companies um, to create a common material transfer agreement for the use of antiretroviral drugs for non-human primate studies. And this is something that really, I think, will be a game changer in terms of making our uh, monkey studies more move faster in, or move forward in a much faster way and make them really relevant and on the cutting edge of contributing to the cure effort. Um, this is something that from my own personal experience I know I've um, struggled with getting these MTAs for, um, it takes a, took, in the old days it took about a year, but I think now with the effort of the IAS and a number of different companies and, and scientists that have, that have um, put this common MTA together, we should be able to um, have an idea, have it funded, obtain the, the drugs that we need to treat the animals, and really test different cure, novel cure interventions. That's really the goal, is to have the baseline of the antiretroviral therapy, but then to try novel interventions in order to try to achieve a cure, first in the monkey model that can then be translated to patients. Well, I think one of the exciting things um, at this conference that um, that hasn't previously been a major focus, I think, of the CURE Symposium is bringing the pediatric focus to um, the broader audience. Um, and I was fortunate to participate in a, a pediatric roundtable um, of, of scientists and speakers um, discussing their work in pediatric HIV, which is another major focus of my lab. Um, and so, so I think we had, we were very pleased to see a, a great audience support, um, and we really got some great questions and feedback. And I think this is a critical um, piece of the HIV cure puzzle: is to incorporate pediatric cure strategies from the very beginning, um, because we this population is still a population that's very much in need of a cure with over 200,000 new infections in um, children per year in, in around the globe. Um, and they are potentially a population that is very well suited to a cure intervention, uh, being that we know pretty much the timing of when they get infected and we can intervene very early on because they present to care for their for their uh, newborn care.
AMPHAR has been extremely important in supporting my research. As a young investigator, um, I, I really have relied very heavily on my own university funding as well as um, foundation funding to get my lab up and running. Um, and with NIH grants being more and more comp competitive, um, it's really important to use funding from as many different sources as you can. Um, and without the AMPAR funding, um, it really would not have been possible to do the in vivo monkey studies that we're doing. And how optimistic are you that we'll find a broadly applicable cure for HIV in the next five or ten years? Um, I am cautiously optimistic that we will have something that is, um, is testable and will give us a, a, an answer within the next five or ten years. I don't know that we will really be at the point where every individual who has HIV infection will be a, taking the same exact cure intervention during that period of time. And I think it's likely that there will be multiple cure interventions that are applicable to different patient populations. But I think at least in that, that period of time we will have a number of different strategies that have been tested in patients, tested in monkeys, and will be moving forward and to do true um, phase three studies.